Did somebody just drop their phone. That was me. That was me. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's throw it. She threw, threw it. it. <laughs> Who needs that when I got you yeah. guys? I'm just sitting down with the three of you. I, when I heard about the the fact that Apple's making a series about Emily Dickinson, I thought, okay, interesting. It's going to be a period historical piece, but this is anything but. I think your first line is, "What up, sis?" Yep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still my talking point. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I always like what you know? How fun was it to play like a really contemporary, you know, with in terms of dialogue and just just everything for, in a in a film or you know in a series that's set in 1850s. It was really such a gift to be able to explore that time period and the constraints and the, the challenges that they, they face and be able to tie them into our own lives yeah. in such a real and visceral way. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it just, um, you, you kind of see the reality of these characters in a, in a new way because they're talking exactly like you. Yeah, and it's so thrilling to discover how like us they were. Like for me, doing my research and reading up about female friendship and, and learning about Emily and Sue's bond, I'm like, this is a story right out of today. Yeah, mm. so true. Yeah, and and it especially kind of frees you up on set because you have the the benefit of the constraints of the time period, the clothing, the mm -hmm. norms, but at the same time, you're kind of allowed to do anything. Um, yeah. And 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 that just makes it such a creative process and, and mm. such a free process as an actor. Yeah, and you're so right. You really do connect with it and it feels more relevant because they're not, oh, thou shalt, you know, you, you feel like, yeah, okay, it's not this, Shakespeare. Yeah. Yeah. this could, this could, this is me, yeah. you know, this is me. Yeah. Your characters have a particularly kind of modern feeling kind of dynamic mm -hmm. to the, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, relationship. Sure There's a scene, I think it's in episode three, and Adrian and I had kind of rehearsed it quite a bit. It's this moment before this party oh, yeah. begins and they're sort of making out and having a conversation oh, and, and <laughs> yeah, so do I. Mm. But uh, we'd rehearsed it, it together and mm. it, it, we'd made it into quite an emotional scene and we got onto set and blocked it out and Elena came up to us and was like, no, I was kind of imagining this as something like out of girls, like <laughs> pre-party, <laughs> make out, yeah. chat, but yeah, I wanted to feel like like pre drinks, um, which was just to be getting that direction, just turned everything on its yeah. head, and I think makes the show far more gripping and relatable. Yeah. That whole episode had, feels like very John Hughesy to me, like just like a yeah. kind of coming of age. Like let's throw a party. party. Yes. Our parents are out of town. Um, yeah. Like yeah. let's let's like throw down. And I yeah. I just love that like you're we're able to explore these characters uh, that are actual people from the 1850s yeah. in, but in a way that is just so like tied into right now. It's so true and you, you mentioned the fact that you have this incredible body of work to reference because mm. it yeah. was a real, not only a real character but one of the most prolific who of course we did see her yeah. published work until after her death but yeah. over 2,000, close to 2,000 poems and, and, and letters. Mm -hmm. How did you go through that? Like what was that like having that to discover? <sighs> I mean, I, I think I, I just started reading about her and trying to read as much of her poetry as possible and then to then look back at the scripts and realize how many details Elena had oh, used yes. in the show. I mean, down to in the first episode when she throws the plate in the fireplace, Emily Dickinson threw a plate into the mm -hmm. fireplace with a fight yeah. with her father. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think side by side with how modern it feels, it really allows you to feel for this woman yeah. and to imagine what her life felt like in a way that feels feels just like yours. Um, we also all went to the Amherst, um, the to the Emily Museum. Dickinson oh. Museum and oh. saw her room. And it felt so uncannily like our set. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's so amazing. Yeah. What an exciting. And I think, for, I mean, how much did you know about Emily Dickinson's poetry before you kind of signed on? I think I knew more about it than I realized because I instantly started recognizing a lot of the poems yeah. like Wild Nights, I'm Nobody, Who Are You, Hope is a Thing with Feathers. Those mm -hmm. were kind of been in um, poetry classes that I had taken in high school, mm -hmm. but I never had connected it to this kind of radical woman. But um, also it speaks it speaks to what a visionary she was, that yeah. a lot of those phrases like I dwell in possibility are like they're baked into our language the now. Canon, yeah. yeah. Because like mm -hmm. she and literally nobody had like many people hadn't read them until like like years and years and years yeah. after like she died. Fifties. Like yeah. I mean, Oh yeah, the first full <gasps> yeah. um 
uh, the, the first full anthology. Anthology. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, of <laughs> Emily's tank, tank. poems <laughs> was was released and published in like 1940. I want to say. Yeah, and I also didn't realize how groundbreaking how she wrote her poetry at the time period yeah. was. Mm -hmm. yes. Like uh, before her, it had been so kind of restricted to prose and yeah, and the rhymes. structure yeah. of what she was doing. Give yeah. me those slant rhymes, though. I now know. everything is slant rhymes, and yeah. it's like yeah. Emily, you knew what you were talking she knew about. She was like hip hop. Yeah. She was. She was like she ahead was. of hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. How cool is this, though? Look at us. We're all like young, young. Like I'm sort of young. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're talking young. about poetry. Yeah. yeah. This is so exciting. Mm -hmm. So a project like this, I think. Has it serves a, a higher purpose? Yeah, yeah and Definitely. and because she was badass, yeah. and she what she really was doing was, was badass. Mm. And that was very much the energy on, on set. Was like we're yeah. we're, we're deconstructing you. this. We're we're messing with it. It's yeah. gonna be fun. Telling a story about a badass lady poet. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah, I like that. I want a T-shirt, guys. Well, congratulations. Very exciting. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.